you know trending right now on social media is burner boy has broken a particular record you know davido's whiskey record that is something trending right now in paris uh, according to the headline said odogu is a global megastar burner boy shows down france he sold out Arco hotels a 20,300 capacity arena in Paris. This is huge. The crowd literally sang all his song word for word from start to finish. That is a big one coming in right now. I think Odogu is already making some giant moves across the world right now. Selling out concert. That is a huge and a big one for Odogu. And what is your own take? What is your own take? about that yeah still um on the this day now this uh, odogu african giant bonaboy left uh the twenty thousand three hundred french fans wanting more even after his concert the people of france were spotted happily singing yeah 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 with excitement on their faces as the work out of Bonner Boys just concluded Aqua Arena show in Paris. Paris, they felt Bonner Boys, um, you know, kind of interesting, uh, um, you know, concert. And I think we have to actually commend Odogu at this point in time. What is your own take about this kind of thing? Let's have a glimpse of that video so that we can actually um, experience it ourselves. <laughs> Right now, Whiskey and Rema nominated for Best International Act at the 2021 Mobile Awards. Uh, they are given, uh, they are going ahead or going uh, head to head with Drake, Kanye West, and other mega stars. That is Music of Black Origin Award mobile that is a huge one and uh, in this category uh fortunately um border boy with uh, davido could not make it into this category i think uh, right now uh you guys will feel that rema is one of the biggest young act in nigeria right now you know i remember some few months ago when um you know Zlatani Bile was mocking out um, Rema, calling Rema song work and rest. But right now, you all will experience the kind of uh, gap between uh, Zlatani Bile and Rema. You know, they're not be made for music industry. I'm sorry to say that they're not be made right now because Rema is far ahead of Zlatan Ibile. Rema is, you know, focusing on getting more countries to listen to him you know that is why he chose a part called afro ribs where you got to sound um arabic sound um you know indian and all those kind of things so that you can get a lot of people to listen to you but some persons will tell you that yes this is um another uh, kind of uh, contender within the music industry because it's already contending with the lives of um davido Whiskey and Bonner Boy, and that is also um, something we need to actually look at right now. It's good, my people. I go by the name Rema. And Before we proceed, uh, I just want to say who is your female artist of the year? Tiwa Savage, Thames, a Rasta. Who do you pick right now? That is something I need in my comment section. Um, all the same, uh, Kubana. Congratulations to Obi Kubana as he launches. Um, uh, his uh, wine brand called Laurent uh, Perrier and Cubana. You know, that was done on 11th November 2021 and it was done time 6 p.m. And that is all interesting because this guy is expanding from real estate into different things and all in the spotlight now. At the time, EFCC actually came after him and then, you know, kind of uh, destabilized him a bit. And different stories was uh, were made out of that. And I think right now he's beginning to feel comfortable about this whole thing. And what is your own take? What is your own story? What do you believe about this? And uh, gifted uh, most of his, um, you know, staff one million naira each 
uh, based on the awards that were uh, kind of declared. And uh, I think this guy is a real uh, business mongrel. That is something I believe about uh, the whole story. Uh, right now, we have uh, something we're still on uh, the Music of Black Origin Award, Best International Art. Yes, we already have that. We have Best African Music Act, uh, Music of ba um, Black Origin Awards. Uh, we have uh, a real star, Burna Boy CK, uh, Davido. We have uh, King Promise. We have NSG. We have Rema. We have Thames. We have TR Savage. We have whiskey being dominated by Nigerians. That is going to be like a huge one out there. And what is your own take? What do you believe about this? Uh, Nigerian music industry has grown so big that, yes, if they took a word for the world, now we need to come, all those kind of things. And we have to commend Nigerians. We have to believe in ourselves and we have to support ourselves. CK's Love One Thing Thing now has over 15 billion plays on TikTok. This is actually a kind of ranking CK across the globe, being one of the biggest brand, and that I have to say congratulations to CK. And people are now comparing CK and then, um, you know, Davido, Whiskey, then Browner Boy, saying that CK is even better than Davido. What is your own take about that? I don't think like that because this guy got a fluke on his song. If you are able to make it with three songs on that chart or so, I will give you kudos and say, man, you got a lot. EFCC detains ex-governor um, Lucky Benidion over alleged 1.6 billionaire fraud. That is now uh, kind of, um, you know, a lot of people are now talking about uh, that. I have one interesting story. Bonu residence comes APC of 70 million naira by pretending to be Ize Iyamu. <laughs> you know, let me read out the story so that you get to understand it better. Uh, the EFCC, that is Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, has arranged a Bornu residence for allegedly fooling the All Progressive Congress APC into sending him 70 million naira. Um, Tokwe Jimmy Fagun was hit with a two count charge of um, um, impersonation and obtaining by false pretense before the Bornu State High Court, Meduguri, on Wednesday, November 10. Uh, 2021. He allegedly pretended to be Osage Ize Iyamu, the APC's candidate in last year's Edo governorship election, and requested 70 million naira from the party, party's Bornu state chairman, Ali Bukar Dalori. The official sent him uh, the money in cash and bank transfer, believing it would be used for Isayamo's activity for September 2020 election. This was, you know, um, <laughs> was last year. And then EFCC said Fargo violated the Advance Fee Fraud and Other Fraud Related Offenses Act 2006 and uh, Penal Code Law Cap 102 Laws of Borneo State. Uh, the defendant pleaded not guilty to the charges and was remanded in custody by Justice Aisha Kumalia. Uh, the judge adjourned the case to November 24 for hearing of bail application and commencement of trial. That is my verdict, November 24. <laughs> it was going to be an interesting story so far. And uh, I just want to use this opportunity to kind of appreciate you guys for always supporting through as if watching my videos is a big one from me to you guys. I love you guys. Keep watching my videos, keep commenting, and keep supporting through as if. If you are new to this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. But if already subscribed, Thank you for subscribing and make sure you share our videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. Don't fail to always support FreeWSD with all anything you got at all.